Hey everyone, welcome to episode 3 of my budget colored inventories and today we're going over the color blue. So if you're new here, basically every episode I cover a color and I make a budget inventory off of that color. For the price guidelines, the knife and glove have to be around $500 or less and each individual skin must be around $15 or less even though most of them aren't even a dollar, at least in this list. In the last two episodes I covered red and pink, so if you want to request a different color you can just ask me in the comments. Uh, and before starting, I want to say that I've gotten requests for orange and white, but I'm not doing orange or white yet because orange is too similar to red and pink, so I just want to kind of deviate a little bit from the color scheme, you know, and try something else. For the white inventory, as soon as I looked into it, it was really, really expensive, so that one's going to take a while to do, or I'm probably not even going to do it at all, so we'll see. Alright, with that out the way, let's get started. I think bright water finishes are very very overlooked when people talk about or think about budget knives and as a result their prices are a lot lower compared to other finishes. So even though there's a camo finish on the bright water it's still a very blue skin so for this list I chose the flint knife blue water or bright water my bad. This one is around $200 but if it's too expensive there's also another option that I'll show in a bit. The gloves are Moto Gloves Polygon, and in my opinion, the shapes and somewhat messy pattern on both the knife and gloves match very well, as well as the blueness. Also, this pair of gloves is in minimal wear for only, or not only, for about 280 but if that's too much, you could go down to field tested for about, about $200 or so on both. So overall, this is a very nice blue budget combo for less than $500. Alright, what if you want something a little cheaper? Then, well, I have the Shadow Daggers Bright Water and the F Specialist Gloves Mogul, and the gloves are field tested. Now, I didn't put these gloves as the main pair of gloves I used for this video because the torchue or the word on the knuckles are very, very scratched, even that field tested, unless you get like a really, really good wear field tested, which is expensive. But with Shadow Daggers, one hand, you can't really see the knuckles, so I think this one is a lot better than just using a regular knife. So I think both of these really complement each other very well. And I think only the backside or the palm of the glove looks pretty colorful and good. So yeah, that's pretty good. All right, moving on to the pistols. The first one, we got the USPS Blueprint. Now, not only is this a really, really cheap skin, I think it's also a really good skin for Sacred Crafts. And it also really, really matches with the gloves, with the color at least. Or the shade of the blue, if that makes sense. Because some of the other skins on this list don't exactly match with the gloves, but this one does, and I think it's just perfect. Alright, so originally I was going to do a Glock Water Elemental because I like the blue on the water, but I think it was too red and it didn't really match with the gloves, so instead I matched it with the Glock Offworld. And this one is a lot better because it's so much cheaper, and I'll probably put up the price on the screen right now. And for a cheap price, it really, really matches with the gloves, and that's kind of just what I'm looking for. Alright, next up we got the P250 Valence, and I think this one is another cheap and nice looking skin. It's kind of whitish and bluish, and like the Glock and USP, it also matches with the gloves pretty well in my opinion. Now, I don't know why you would ever use this gun, but I mean, if you like to use it, you do you, but I, I just personally don't like it, but yeah, it's a Valence. Alright, next up we got the 5-7 Angry Mob, I believe, and this one, yes, it's a little more expensive and it's not as blue, but I think it looks really, really, like, kind of goofy and nice with all the mobs, I guess, like, doing whatever they're doing, and I think for just a cheap skin, it's a pretty good find, I guess. For the Tech 9, we have the Ice Cap, in my opinion, even though there's no, like, bottom to the skin, like a bunch of other Tech 9 skins, it looks pretty, pretty good. Because honestly, you don't really see the bottom of the skin, which is like all black, because the gloves are covering it. And not only that, the color on the top, or the, um, I don't know if it's called a shaft or whatever, but the blue also matches with the gloves really, really well. So, it's a really, really good skin, and it's also like $60 at most at Factory New, without stat track, by the way. But if you want to get stat track, it's only like $2 for Factory New. For the Desert Eagle or the Deagle, we have the Sputnik, and I don't know how to really explain this, the color is darker on the Deagle skin than the gloves, but either way it still looks really really nice, in my opinion, because I think the Sputnik has kind of a messy pattern as well as the gloves, so maybe that's why it matches so well in my opinion, but I think it still looks really really satisfying as do like most Deagle skins on the market. Now moving on to the SMGs, we have the MP9 Goo, and apologize if I'm maybe maybe colorblind, but this one is like a pretty pretty light blue skin for an mp9 and i understand it might not look extremely blue you might not like it but the next blue option is like a rainbow or like a 200 dollars mp9 skin so i mean that's what we have 
And in my opinion, it doesn't even look that bad because I think the goo is like, the light blue looks pretty nice and you could probably just put some blue stickers on it if you want. All right, well, unlike the MP9, there are a bunch of blue looking and uh, MAC-10 skins and I think it was kind of hard to choose between them because some of them look pretty good in some aspects but didn't look good in the other ones. So at the end of the day, I chose the MAC-10 Indigo and while this is the most plain and doesn't really have a big pattern, the colors match really well with the gloves and that's kind of what I was actually looking for overall. And even if you don't like it, you can just add some stickers onto the uh, gun and I think it would look a lot better. But there's just like a blank canvas for you to see and I think this looks pretty good. For the P90, we have the module, and yes, yes, the blues don't really match, and it's more like a cyan, but in my opinion, I think it's a really, really clean skin, and it's probably from the light blue, because light blue is like a really nice color, and um, the hexagons on the gun, I think it's just really nice for a really low price. Actually, following the trend with like other guns on this list, it's not that low, it's $2, which is, I mean, it's still considered cheap, I mean, like, I mean, like, other skins in this is like, less than a dollar so i mean i don't know all right surprisingly i finally have some decent looking shotgun skins but they're actually kind of a little more expensive for this one except for the xm the xm's pretty cheap but for the nova i got the nova tempest and i think this one matches really really well with the gloves and if you're a, if you're a nova user go for it but the problem is field tested is at like six dollars minimal wear is at seven and that's a lot of money I mean, it's not a lot of money, but when you think about it, like, being put into a Nova skin, I don't know if you want to spend that much money into a Nova skin. Like, I I struggle to buy, like, a 5 cent Nova skin for, like, just to fill out my inventory, you know? It's weird, okay? Like, I don't want to spend money on a gun that I don't even use, you know? So, if you want to buy it, go for it. If you don't, you do you. For the XM, we got the Slipstream, and honestly, this is, like, my OG skin. I used this gun when I started playing, when I was still, like, a really, really bad player. I mean, I still am a bad player, but back when I used the shotgun a lot more, right? Back when I only played Office and camped every corner. But yeah, I mean, this one is another Cyan skin, not really blue, but in my opinion, I really, really like this, and it just got, like, I'm like it's, like, um, nostalgia, I guess, in a way. Alright, finally, to the meat and the bottom patty of this video i don't know that's a good analogy but whatever for the for the famas we have the cyano splatter or spatter i don't know how to pronounce that but in my opinion this one while it is like a weird like not actual good skin it's like one of those um bad map skins i think it's pretty good and it's like a light blue and honestly it's pretty clean in my opinion also because there's like no other good blue skins Alright, for some reason I lost my footage for my Galil skin, but for the Galil, I recommend either the Cold Fusion or the Rocket Pop. And honestly, the Rocket Pop is a really, really nice looking skin, but my only problem with it is that it's not completely blue and there's some white and red-ish tints to it. So I think it is a good skin, but it doesn't necessarily match the greatest with the gloves. So instead, I have Cold Fusion and actually Cold Fusion is actually a lot cheaper. Actually, it's not that much cheaper, but at Factory New, it's only 32 cents. All right, for the M4A4, you already know I gotta use the Desolate Space. And honestly, dude, this one looks so cool. I don't even know how it's only a pink skin. So yeah, this one, it doesn't necessarily match the gloves, but it looks insane. And if you have the money for it, go get stat track. But I'm pretty sure it's over 15 if you got like minimal wear or field tested. So it looks really good. And I think you should get this one. For the A1S, I actually got a control panel at Well Worn. And honestly, I chose this over the Nightmare because the Nightmare is extremely expensive and I can only get a well-worn for the $15 budget I have and honestly that doesn't even look that bad or that good but if you like well-worn go for it but I think the control panel is like a lot better option because even that well-worn you can't really tell that it's scratched I don't even think there's any scratch I think it just looks darker as it wears but yeah this one's pretty nice for the ak i actually originally wanted to go with the ice cold because it had more color and had more it looked cooler right but i think when i checked it in the skin server um the ice cold is actually not the same shade of blue so i decided to change up the ak to the blue laminate and i think it's really nice because at the gloves and the skin color it kind of meets i don't know if that makes sense but as on the ak you can see that the part that's blue it meets with the gloves and honestly on the bl uh, blank spaces you can just add some blue stickers to make it look better all right on the aug we have the aristocrat and this one is another pretty simple looking skin and it matches with the gloves pretty well and i think i think it's a pretty good stickercraft skin because i actually 
also used to run one well one of these when i was like i don't know like just beginning the game or starting the game so yeah it looks pretty good and you should get this one for the creek we have the aloha and it's pretty cheap for factory new stat track at one dollar on buff and this one is a pretty nice skin that color uh covers that the entire gun and honestly it is a pretty good sicker craft skin you can just put some like blue stickers like um i can't think of any right now but i'm sure there's a lot of good blue stickers like a titan hollow all right for the scout we have the abyss and i think this one it looks pretty nice because it's really really bright and honestly i don't know what else to say uh we're over 10 minutes it's getting hella long okay all right finally we have the awp the operator the big green the op all right you know it's crazy right we got the sun and leo and this one is kind of expensive but i think i choose it over the other option which is the cordicera because there's more blue and you can make a really nice sticker craft like a titan hollow all right guys end of the video my bad my bad i'm like doing this at 3 a.m so i'm like getting progressively like more and more tired and stuttering more and more bro. i feel like i'm like an overworked map uh, employee or something bro i'm it's wild but yeah thanks for watching guys if you like it go drop a sub and a like if you want me to do something else in the future just comment it and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one